Hey everyone. Hey, it's Rick Silva. Have you said things like, I love door knocking in the heat? I love it. I love door knocking when it's raining. Boy, I love picking up the phone and making cold calls and having people swear at me and hang up on me. I just love it. I love being stood up for appointments. I just love it. I love my close rate being really low. I love people standing me up. I love people asking me for discounts. If that's you, you can leave now because I can't help you. I'm a professional networker. I'm a networking coach. and I'm going to teach you how to get more referrals, not cold call for leads. So if you have said things like, how do I track more referrals? How do I get people to send me referrals? I need more referrals. My business is way too inconsistent. Hey, how come that guy, that guy over there, I know I'm smarter than him, but he makes way more than me. Why is that? Well, it's possible because he built a referral-based practice. So we're going to cover all of this and a whole lot more coming up. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome. Thanks for watching. This video is called What is a Networking Group? It's going to be a multi-part series on networking groups. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rick Silva. I'm a referral coach. Primarily work with six or seven different industries, mostly real estate, mortgage, financial planners, insurance, dentists, chiropractors, network marketers but pretty much any business who needs to make sales and needs to generate leads or cold call, I can help them get out of leads and get out of cold calling. I started running networking groups August of 2003. So I've been doing this quite a long time. I've facilitated way over 1,700 groups. Could be 1,800 or 1,900 by now. Who's counting? <laughs> 10 years ago, my uh, a, a lady named Marcella joined uh, one of my networking groups and we ended up getting married. That's my wife. In the last 10 years, it's probably pushing 800 deals by now. So about 800 real estate transactions in 10 years without ever paying for a lead, without ever door knocking, without ever cold calling, all through referrals. We teach other people who already have our client to send us referrals. That's the basis of what networking is. And networking groups can really help with facilitating that. So real estate agents, financial planners, insurance agents, mortgage lenders, dentists, chiropractors, network markers. Now the, the four core of a networking group of any business referral group, there's four that makes the core like the tables, like the legs on a table or legs on a chair. Those four industries are financial planner, real estate, insurance, mortgage. So the best way to do that well, the most important thing to do is build a network. The best way to build a network is through a networking group. Hey, build a networking group. Either join one. I can help you build it. You can contact me if you want to have your own networking group anywhere in the country. And uh, we can have a Zoom meeting and talk more about that. My contact information is down below. Uh, it'll also be at the end of the video. 82% <clears throat> of Americans seek recommendations from their network. So if 82% of people would rather ask their neighbor or their friend and family member, hey, who did you, who painted your home? Uh, they're not looking to be cold called. They're looking to be referred. Rick, what's a networking group? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I know what a networking group is, but I'm not sure. Hey, I'm in Rotary. I'm in the networking. That's not a networking group, but we'll get more into that later. I want you to imagine a room. And if that room had, so I'm going to jump one slide ahead. If you were in a room that was professionally facilitated and it had things like land investing, franchise consultant, web designer, flooring, SEO, uh, architect, general contractor, business coach, computer software, financial planner, health insurance, banker, mortgage, attorney, real estate, um, virtual assistant, hauling company, commercial real estate, videographer, photographer, insurance, CPA, travel agent, franchise consultant, payroll, and carpet cleaning. If that group was facilitated properly and everyone there was there for one reason, that's to help each other grow their business. It would be impossible to not build your business if you were in a room like this. This is visually what a networking group is. I want to go a little farther. This is what most networking groups used to look like, and this is what mine looked like. And this hap this is this one particular isn't mine, but it's a really good picture. But I'm about to show you what mine uh, used to look like and what they look like now. So again, imagine you had all of those industries in a room. How could you not build business? So. These are photos from my networking groups. You got unbelievable professionals. There's my group. There's uh, Clifton doing a presentation during the meeting. That's me. I, I used to love running the groups. I've run, you know, I don't know, 1,800 groups, 1,900 groups. Uh, this is what networking groups look like now. And my groups will never go back face to face because there's lawsuit issues if somebody gets COVID or if someone dies when they're cramped in a, in a conference room like this. 
So due to that, all of my groups are virtual. So if you were interested in networking group and you live, I live in California, if you live anywhere uh, in the United States, I can facilitate and help run your group for you um, if you're interested. So this is what a group looks like now. They're virtual. The company's B2B gathering, but that's what a networking group looks like. Let's go a little deeper. Let's just give you an idea of that's what a group looks like. But what we're trying to do, if that's you in the middle, we're trying to create a spider web, a net of people. So we have referrals coming in. We have referrals going out. We have the ability to refer our sphere to our clients, our clients to our sphere, our sphere to our sphere. Uh, I, I, I try to explain to people, hey, if you imagine a quiver on your back with a bunch of arrows and you meet somebody who has a need, each person solves a need. Uh, so these are like arrows that you can fire at a problem that people have. Your goal in joining a networking group is not walking in <clears throat> and looking at this and go, hey, hey, how many potential clients are here? That is not the goal because you should not be going to a networking group to, to sell. You should be going to a networking group to help to help find business for the other people. Your goal in the network group is to find people business, not to walk in and make sales. Okay. So if you're looking to meet, looking for ways to meet a whole bunch of people in one day, networking groups are the best way. There's a lot of leverage involved. Uh, if you're looking for the quickest way to build trust and rapport with other business professionals, networking groups are by far the best. Uh, if you want more referrals, networking groups flat out are the best way. Some examples would be if you've heard of BNI Business Networking International, if you've heard of Latip, and then if you've heard of the best networking groups, hands down, bottom line in the whole world, that would be my groups called B2B Gathering. Some meet weekly, some meet twice a month, some meet monthly. Mine meet once a month at nine or noon. Uh, and I'm not here to go too deep on what exactly my groups per, do per se. Just trying to give you an idea today of what networking groups are. There's a bunch of people sitting in a room who meet weekly, twice a month, once a month with the goal of helping each other get more referrals and praying that they're not there trying to make sales because that's a, that's networking suicide. So these are called uh, hard contact networking groups, meaning there's one industry per category. When you look at the group, there's one industry per category. The reason it's one industry per category um, is because the confused mind doesn't buy. And also the confused mind doesn't refer. Now, there are some people who say uh, that networking groups shouldn't be limited to a certain industry. Now, I think personally you should be in multiple networking groups, but each individual networking group should only have one industry because it confuses the members on who to send the referral to. So it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 individual industries in a room with the goal of helping each other build a referral-based practice. So, hey, if you're getting value out of this, again, I'm a referral coach. It's what I do, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching. I've got tons and tons of videos. I've got hundreds more videos coming. It really would help the channel, helps get the videos out there. It helps YouTube push the videos out if you'd like and subscribe. And if you want me to cover a topic on networking that will help you build your business, comment down below. Uh, comments really help the videos too. Any help you need, I'll be more than happy to make a video to help you. Just got to put it in the comments so I see what you need. So referral marketing is a strategy to encourage passionate customers and POI sensor, person of influence, circle of influence, center of influence in the networking world. It's called power partner to directly refer their network to your business. So if you're sitting in a room with these people and they see you all the time, they're more uh, inclined to send you uh, introductions. Referred customers have a higher profit margin, a higher retention rate, and they're way easier to close. <clears throat> I'm in these real estate groups. I see these people. Hey, I, I got this client. He, right at the last minute, he had his pen in his hand. And right before he signed, he said, I want senior commission. Hey, how much are you making on this deal? Hey, I want uh, this and this and this, or I'm not going to sign. Referrals generally don't ask for discounts that have asked you how much you make, they almost never stand you up. So if you're getting stood up, if people are asking you for discounts, if people are hanging up the phone on you, if you're making multiple contacts, no one will call you back. You're working with leads. Referrals don't do that. So my goal in life for you is to never, ever, ever work with a lead and to work with referrals. The difference between lead and referral, you're going to have to watch one of my other videos for that's a half an hour explanation. <clears throat> The purpose of, purpose of a strong contact in the networking world is called a hard contact networking group. That means one industry per category is to provide individuals the chance 
to provide business referrals to the other members. A hard contact networking group is ideal for building in-depth relationships. <clears throat> one of the other biggies, some leverages, you give your elevator pitch one time in 60 seconds to 30 people. How many minutes did you just save? One minute to 30 people is 30 minutes. You did it in one minute because you leveraged, you spoke to 30 people. Once you go to a networking event or a chamber of commerce, make sure you have to have 30 conversations. 99.9% of people cannot have 30 conversations at one mixer. So there's leverage. It's time saving. <clears throat> you are a captive audience and there are no other distractions. You're there. You're giving your elevator pitch to all those other people. If you need help on your elevator pitch, I got a, a 10 part series on elevator pitch on one referral away. You can go there and I'll give you help on your elevator pitch. So groups like BNI, like LIPIP, like BDB Gathering, bring together professionals and business owners in order to build relationships and refer new business to each other. That's the bottom line. That's what networking groups are for. <clears throat> let me talk to you a little bit about what networking groups are not. People go, well, I'm in this, I'm in that. And it's not networking. So let me tell you real quick what, what is not a networking group. So service-based groups, Rotary, Kiwanis, Lions, all the animal groups, they are not networking. They're service clubs. They're not networking groups. They focus on charitable projects, giving back to the community. In fact, two of the groups listed on that first line, if you walk up to people and pitch your services and hand them your business card, you're booted out. That's the absolute proof that it's not a networking group. It's a social organization. It's not for networking. Can it happen? Yes. Will it happen? Yes. But that's not the sole purpose. So mentorship groups, mastermind groups, social media networks, chamber of commerce mixtures, none of that are, ne are networking groups. It's completely different. Okay. We'll get in all the differences in another video. So business networking groups are important for building your referral based practice, allow you to meet many people in one day, a place to meet other professionals to exchange ideas and referrals and connections. The quickest way to build trust and rapport with other business professionals and a chance to provide referrals to the other members. That's the uh, that's what networking groups are and why you should be in them. Some of the other ways I can help you provide one-on-one -on -one coaching for networking and teach you how to build your entire referral-based practice. There's a lot that goes into that in, in two slides where I'm going to show you uh, what's included. So <clears throat> if you go to onereferralaway.com, you'll see these are the different products I have. If you key on this one right here, this slide right here. So it's right here, right there. If you click on this button, you can see the different lessons. 12... Lessons anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes each going over all the different topics. If you want to read this, just hit pause. This is the networking course. It comes with two hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching included in it. All the details, again, onereferralaway.com if you're interested. Uh, also, you can uh, join Patreon to get one-on-one -on -one monthly coaching for me. It's one referral away at Patreon. There's my contact info, onereferralaway at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to give you a 30-minute complimentary Zoom meeting to see if I can help you and uh, build your referral-based practice. So in the next video, why join a networking group? Everybody, I hope you got something out of this. The next video again will be uh, why join a networking group. We'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>